Uh, hi everyone, uh, today I wanted to talk about controversial edible plants. Uh, I wanted to talk about buttercups. Some plants are um, widely known as edible, like nettles, so everyone knows you can eat them, you can eat them boiled, or if you are brave you can even eat them raw, but some plants need more preparation, and sometimes people even don't even know that they are edible, and buttercups uh, is one of the examples of such species. This is a creeping buttercup, a very common plant in lawns and gardens and roadsides all over. Uh, the leaves look a bit like parsley. The name creeping uh, is because it creeps like strawberries. It produces these um, shoots that uh, crawl on the ground. I can't find it right now, but you can see that the leaves are kind of um, um, close to the ground. And um, if you are careful enough, you can find these crawling shoots. Um, people uh, might confuse it with uh, meadow buttercup. This is meadow buttercup, which, is, which has more divided leaves, um, which is much sharper in taste. So all the buttercups contain a substance called protoanemonin, which is removed by long cooking or by uh, drying. So even the, the buttercups, which are sharp in taste, and cows don't eat them in the raw state. Once hay, hay is made, actually they can't eat they, they can't eat the hay with buttercups. So this is a sign for people that we can do the same. We can dry them, or we can boil them for a long time and then eat them. In Georgia, in the Caucasus, people still still eat buttercups. They are sold in the markets, many species of buttercups, and then they are used mixed with other vegetables in a dish called pchali, uh, which, which are like a kind of balls made of uh, boiled uh, vegetables with crushed walnuts. So they boil the buttercup for half an hour and then they take the water out. Uh, this buttercup I don't e even think needs half an hour of boiling, but different populations can differ. Uh, creeping buttercups from Poland are usually much milder in taste. The British ones are more more sharp and I'll be more careful with them but you can you can easily tell if if, if it's still toxic if it itches if it scratches your throat uh, it means the protanemonin wasn't fully broken down um, so learn different species of buttercups and try them don't be scared to try them because the effect of protanemonin is very quick you can quickly tell if the plant is dangerous or not Another species which is sometimes included in the genus Buttercup is uh, Lesser Celandine. A very characteristic species, very common in parks, also in forests and sometimes in gardens. It's got um, small roundish leaves. They are not hairy, they are quite um, glabrous. And they are very mild in taste before flowering. Now it's already flowered. You can see the flowers here. Um, so it's sharper in taste and you can actually tell yourself so if you start collecting lesser celandines just collect a leaf or two eat it and feel if it's scratchy if it's sharp maybe it's better not to eat it or eat it after longer cooking if it's not sharp if it's uh, nice in taste like in March usually in March you would have a uh, nicely tasting celandines you can just eat it raw but again, there are different subspecies and different populations. One, uh, sometimes I see uh, lesser celandines with like white dots, and they usually um, taste sharper. The ones without white dots are usually milder, but this is maybe, maybe just my observation. Uh, so lesser celandines, um, they are sometimes treated as a different genus, Ficaria, and sometimes included um, in the genus Ranunculus, and called Ranunculus ficaria. Um, they are still eaten in many countries. People make soups uh, with lesser celandines in Ukraine, in Romania, uh, in many parts of Romania, also in the Caucasus. Uh, buttercups are also sold uh, in the markets of Dalmatia, not very commonly, but I tend to see a few species uh, in the markets of Dalmatian towns like uh, Zadar or Dubrovnik. Uh, and people usually mix them with other wild vegetables. So don't be afraid of buttercups. Learn the different species because some of them can be very pungent, very sharp, like the meadow buttercup. Um, 
I don't think there is a need to, to eat them. I'm sure if you dry them and cook them for two hours, uh, you could eat them, but why? Whereas the creeping buttercup it is quite nice and you can prepare it just by cooking it for 15 minutes, maybe half an hour, taking the water out, uh, or maybe mixed with other wild vegetables. So don't be scared of buttercups. Greetings from Glasgow.